Hey Saggies, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This is going to be for the whole month of November. It could resonate right now or later on down the line. If you don't know what this is, I say pay even closer attention because it could be a heads up to something coming that you're unaware of. Also, it could be for Sagittarius or Sagittarius cross watchers or anyone who's guided here for whatever reason you're here. All right, let's do it. Sagittarius reading for the whole month of November for Sagittarius or anyone else who's guided to see it. Welcome. It could be your reading. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Whole month of November. The loving woman, peace and happy success. All right, the loving woman, peace and happy success. Now look at this. We have, this is a people card this is an intentions card so this woman is her intentions are of peace and consciousness of happy success high vibration this is such high vibration all right let's do it this was quantum oracle we're also going to be using since this really is coming out at the end of october halloween time we're going to be using the haunted house tarot and the everyday witch tarot all right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages for Sagittarius? Now, this person could be you. It could be someone around you, someone you're close to. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know, Sagittarius? What do we need to know, Sagittarius? All right, let's do it. Oh, came right out. We've got the Ten of Wands. Oh, yeah, look at that. Absolutely. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Really nice. What else do we need to know here? The Justice Reversed. I want to put it up here because we're doing... I'm going to do eight, four across here and four across here. We're also, um, we also have the Sun Reversed. What else? So we have Justice Reversed and the Sun Reverse, but you have some really great cards here. Yeah, there's a change coming. Okay, really nice. All right, so there has been something going on. Yeah, eight and the nine, the eight, nine, and the ten of wands and the wheel of fortune. So this really just says to me something and the ten of swords. Something's definitely progressing here. All right, so woo. I'm going to put this one up here because we're going to try and squeeze these in. <laughs> there we go. We got this. All right. I know this is kind of, normally I pull this over a little so you can see it, but because I'm so squeezed in here today, we're just going to leave it. It's the, look at the four swords and see how everything's clawing at her and she needs a break, right? She's taking a break. It's reversed. I feel as though this is her whole thing is about getting this piece, right? And this might come with some kind of a choice. It might have something to do with her and her child or something from the past or anything, really. It could just be um, leaving the past behind to pursue something different. It's something about maintaining some kind of peace here. All right, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to tell you that you've got nines and tens in this reading. And I feel... and because the 10 you've got two no you've got three tens you have the 10 of wands you have the wheel of fortune and you also have the 10 of swords so you're at the very very end of something and the thing i love about this energy is it looks a little harsh with the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords but the wheel's about to turn this is the very 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 end and the thing i like about this even though it's the 10 of wands and 10 of swords and not the 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles it's the end of it it's the very end. So if you've been going through a difficult time, I feel like that time is about to come to an end. Also, you've got the Eight of Wands. It is reversed. It doesn't look reversed, but it actually is. Uh, you also have the Nine of Wands. So this really just says to me, I don't care that the Eight of Wands is reversed. It really just, I just feel like you haven't gotten the information yet about something that's changing because you're going to be leaving the rocky waters look at the tumultuous waters this is what you're leaving behind so this is going to be a thing of the past all this tumultuous whatever's been going on this eight of nine this nine of wands this ten of wands this ten of swords this is going to be gone if you look at the three of cups in this deck she's drowning 
she's just drowning. I mean, she is drowning in some kind of, you know, everything's been clawing at her. She needs, her intentions are of peace. I need peace. I need peace and quiet, maybe. All right, now, we do have Justice and the Sun both reversed, which I'd rather see in the upright, but they're here with that Eight of Wands reversed, which is why I said I'm not even worried about this being reversed because I just think none of this has happened yet. It hasn't come in yet. All right, let's get into it. We're going to be, oh, I'm so sorry. And we have the Queen of Cups right there, who is the loving woman. Now, remember, she's in reverse, but she, that's because she's right here in this drowning energy, right? With the Ten of Swords. This break is something this person needs. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? Sagittarius reading, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Sagittarius reading, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Sagittarius reading. All right, let's take a look at... I want to look at the Eight of Wands, Justice, and the Sun, all reversed. Can we look at Eight of Wands, Justice, Sun, all reversed? Seven of Swords, you don't know that it's about to all work out. <laughs> justice card which is exact and look that look at that high priestess you just don't know it yet it's like hidden it's like hidden knowledge hidden information you're going to be able to have that rest that retreat nine of swords reversed you're going to be done with these eights uh, this nine of swords this ten of swords this nine of wands this ten of wands you're going to be done with this soon you haven't gotten the information yet you just don't see it you just don't know yet all right let's take a look at this um I want to look at, I'm going to do some switching around here. I want to look at all your nines and tens together. Okay, so remember, we just had the nine of swords come out at the bottom of the deck. The ten of swords, the nine of ones, the ten of ones, and the wheel. These are all nines and tens. Com something's coming to culmination here. Tell me about the eight and nine of wands. No. The nine and ten of wands. The Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know about this culmination here? This is the Lovers reversed and also something landed on my hand. And the Eight of Cups reversed. This says to me I have to make a decision and there it is again. All right. So this is, wow, yeah, you even have the Seven of Pentacles behind it. Okay, but look at this. So the Lovers for me is a, is a decision card, especially when it comes out with another decision card, which it clearly has. Um, it doesn't matter if it's love. It does. It could be just two people who are uh, working together. It could be not to work with another person because it is reversed. But regardless of what it is, it's a decision. And she's making this decision with a blindfold on, meaning she doesn't have all the information. And that's what we talked about up here. And look at how the blindfold is on justice. See how our eye is starting to peek through? Remember what I said, this seven of swords on top of this made me feel like you couldn't see something. And there she is needing to make this decision. So she's been staying put like this, trying to figure something out that she doesn't have all the information in Eight of Wands reversed as well. I feel like you haven't had all this information. You don't see something coming. Whatever this is that's coming, it is something that it could be for you and another person, or it could be for you to separate from another person. I have to say that, but it doesn't have to be. But no matter what it is, it has something to do with a decision. It might be something about seeds you've already planted. It might be something you've been waiting for. It may be information that hasn't come in. Let's look at this um, Queen of Cups reversed. What do we need to know? Queen of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. So this really says to me, and I want to look at the Queen of Cups reversed with the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups with the Queen of Cups reversed. I think she's been going through a, yeah, there's the Knight of Cups reversed. All right, so there's an offer coming in that she hasn't seen yet. And this has put a quite a burden on her. So, and look at how the sun's right behind it. It's like, well, as soon as this is done, it's the dawning of the new day. This is something that you haven't seen this offer come in yet. You haven't seen this uh, opportunity or this forward motion. This has been difficult. It's felt very burdensome, but guess what? The dawning of the new day. This is also another cycle card for me, the sun. Let me, and there it is. Let's look at the sun reversed. I forgot all about it up there. 
did I do it with something else? Did I do them all? Oh, I did them all together. Okay. That's why. All right. So this really says to me what you don't see, what you didn't know, it's on its way. It's coming in for you. There's something about an opportunity, an offer, um, a change. There's definitely a change. I mean, we're talking about being in complete shutdown mode. Eight of Cups reversed. Uh, the Four of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Breaks on to a complete change. Now we have all, and you know, the Ten of Wands twice, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords. They've all been on hold, like at a deadlock here, at the very end of something. We needed that wheel to turn. We needed this release of the Four of Swords where we're now back up and running. We're going again. We're moving. We needed this all to come to some kind of close. And it, that when that wheel spins, all these tens just like disappear and you're in the aces. Tell me about the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords moving towards peace after a really difficult time. You could have just went through a really hard time. Tell me about Six of Swords, please. What is it we need to know? What do we need to... Okay, there it is, your new beginning. I just spoke of your... It, all these tens are leaving and your aces are coming in. And what's it coming in from? Leaving those... This nine, it wants to be here. This nine and ten, nine and ten. Your wands and your swords... Are, they're completing. They're done. And here's the Ten of Wands again. Dawning of a new day. Everything that you don't, what you don't see here is that some balance is coming in. Some kind of new, like it's going to be a whole new cycle for you. It's really, really nice. You just, and look, happy success. It is like that sun. There is an absolute change happening here. It's this, it's like a complete turnaround. I have not pulled after tarot for anyone yet, Sag, but I'm going to pull it for you right now. I just want to pull one or two. Is there anything we need to know about what is next here for Sagittarius? Yeah, look. Again, another, the lovers came out again with a choice card. Just like it came out here with a choice card. Choice. There is a choice. Whether it's, I think it's about you and another person, so take it as you will. There it is. Something's going to come in. It's going to be an offer and it's going to be your moment to make the choice. I feel like there could be two of you involved in this. Please do tell me if this resonated for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. It feels great. It feels like, wow, what a difference a, a day makes. For some of you, it could be something about you and one of your kids even. Please do comment and like this video. You guys could win bonus readings this month. You also will get the two-week readings because you always qualify for them. I appreciate you. And it's only because I don't have time to do everybody. So I just look at who what's most liked. If, if you guys like Sagittarius videos, please don't forget to hit the like because the things that people are enjoying are the things that I gravitate to and I do more of on my channel. So thank you so much, Sag. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.